Zip Electric, today we, we found a gap, right? The gap was electrification. While everyone is talking about it, government is pushing it. Brands like Zomato, Amazon, everyone has an EV agenda that by 2030 we want to be electric. But it's moving very slow. So when we kind of, and, and when we started this business, our mission was mission zero emission, that we want to be the catalyst which is bringing electric vehicles right. in mobility or delivery. Right? So, so when we started talking to these brands a few years back, they said that you seem to be doing EVs, can you deliver for us? Right? Okay. And I think that became a plank for us that this is the problem that we need to address rather than thinking of anything else. And yeah, so, so we are an EV as a service ecosystem, okay. which is bringing the entire broken electric infrastructure aspect using our technology on a single platform. Right. So there's one side of our business which is all about EV fleet management. Uh, Akash, uh, now in its current after uh, Zip Electric, how many cities are you in? How sure. many vehicles have you onboarded? <coughs> and name some of name your top three or four clients. Sure. Yeah. So so you know as I said, COVID we had 300 vehicles. Today uh, in 2024 we have 20,000 vehicles. Right. Almost touching that on roads. We are the beauty is that we are only in three markets. Okay. Right. Delhi and CR, Bangalore. Mumbai is a market which we've launched two months back, just a fleet of almost touching 1,000 right now. In Mumbai, Bangalore is about 5,000, Delhi is almost 14, 14 and a half thousand. We've also started doing three wheelers in the business, right? So yeah, about, uh, about a 20,000 fleet. Okay. Uh, the top clients would be Azamato, Zepto, Blinkit, Big Basket, Amazon, Super. Flipkart, Uber, Rapido. These are our top eight clients if you were asking. Super. Yeah. We then moved to one of Zip Electric's two wheeler hubs in Gurugram to understand a bit more about the revenue and the aspirations that this startup has. How do you see it scaling up to maybe a thousand crore uh, revenue mm. company top line? Right? Mm. That's a dream for a lot of startups oh, absolutely. to reach the one thousand crore mark Correct. in terms of top line. So when do you see that happening and how do you see that happening? So frankly, um, as I said, we are roughly at about a 350 crore, yep. which means we are 3x away from a thousand crore mark. Right. And looking at my trajectory, I have, in the last three years, grown 5x on my revenue. This year, I've grown 3x, mm -hmm. which means I need to do another 3x this year, which is quite possible. Because a lot of kinks in the last year were about policy, were about fame, were about right vehicles, right OEM partners. I think now we are almost at the fag end of all of those you know, uh, problems, while there's another thing which is coming that fame might go away. But even without fame, now that the battery prices are coming to a standstill and rather reducing, I think we are at a point that I should end March 25, which is next year, at 1,000 crore run rate. That is my goal, right? So we are 12 months away. We should connect again 12 months back, you know, and whether we are here, I'm here to kind of prove it.